probably you've seen them if you're looking at like uh, counting stats and things of that nature within the nation. This is his strength and got really good touch. 56, 45, a shy uh, with a Going to junior year, I think I grew to like 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, Still got cut from uh, the varsity team. You see this gentleman's name all over all these different um, statistical profiles and things like that. Mike down at Pepperdine doing his thing. Baby Kawhi Leonard out there. I'm so happy for him. Pierce College, um, shout, shout out to them. They offered me my only uh, scholarship to you know a college, a community college. Stands at about six foot seven. 220 pounds. Number one, Michael There's a high wind warning in effect, especially here for the Santa Clarita Valley, southwest into the valley locations in southeastern Ventura County to the coast there. We could see gusts of 70 miles per hour. That is already in effect, and it goes until Saturday at 3 p.m. Oh, yeah, that's where I live. You know, from calm. Is this you or you got you got roommates? I got roommates, yeah. I live with my teammates. I bet. Um, yeah. It's the crib. What time is the game today? Game is at six o'clock. It's at six. What time do you usually start getting ready? Not at uh, I go to the training room around like hour and a half before mm -hmm. and just uh get my ankles taped, mm -hmm. get stretched out, listen to some music. And then, um, and then go to the court, get some shots up. Okay. Then, yeah. All right now, but I'm feeling kind of uh, like under the weather right now. For real? My voice, yeah. So I, this is like the flu game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the flu game. Like, All right. That's how I'm feeling right now. But uh, I'm trying to, you know, go crazy. How you know the uh, Dehanye? You got the Mar. Marjan. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we we have like the similar like story, you know. To who? Oh, you and Marjan. Yeah, we oh, yeah, the same like JUCO, uh, the NWAC, the conference. Yeah. yeah. So it's crazy how he got to the league. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. crazy. Bro. My upbringing was, you know, real good. Um, I grew up with three sisters. Um, we're all like a basketball family. All my sisters played, you know, basketball. Um, so I got it from them, you know. Um, they inspired me to play basketball. My dad actually put the basketball in my hands when I was, you know, a kid. Um, when he uh, came from Africa to America, um, he seen Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant just hoop, and he's he was inspired by them. And then he was like, okay, I have a son. Um, Someone put the ball in his hands, and hopefully they, uh, he could be like them. And like after that, it's just. You know, spiraled off and I started to like basketball a lot. Um, started going to AAU tournaments and I just fell in love with it. Yeah, I had to take these ty Tylenols because I'm feeling kind of sick. But it'll be a good game though. For sure. Yeah. What made you choose um, Pepperdine over like Well, I made Coach Romar for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, he was the former head coach at UW and um, a couple of guys like Isaiah Thomas, mm -hmm. Abdul Ghadi. They're just, um, they're like, yeah, Coach Romar, if you want to, like, you know, play in the NBA or, like, mm -hmm. you know, do good, just, you should go play for him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, his track record is crazy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he's just a good leader, too, and good mentor. Like, if I have a problem, you're like, we were just watching film the other day, because, mm -hmm. um, Last game, you know, I thought I did, I didn't do too well. We watched film, and he was just, you know, breaking the game down for me. So, yeah, he's really, he's like, he's a genius. So. The main difference from like JUCO to like D1. I say the speed mm -hmm. and like the physicality and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just you know, there's taller guys and more athletic. But you know, I just came here with I came here with the same mindset as JUCO, just yeah. with the passion, the motor I have, like mm -hmm. try to get as much rebounds as I can, and, you know, also facilitate and score for my teammates. So mm -hmm. I wanted to be a leader because you know I already did two years JUCO, you know I was leading my team and all that, so I was I wanted to be I wanted to step in that leader role in uh, Pepperdine. So. I, not my room. I, I can't do my room. My room is, is bland. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why? 
Inshallah. This guy, hey, the, best, the bounciest guy, bounciest white guy <laughs> you'll ever meet. You do East Bay's and shit. <laughs> hey, everyone, go follow my Instagram, Marathon Mike. Yeah, right there. Try to get my following up. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Also, like, now that Juco, you know, um, like everyone like thinks Juco's bad. You know, everyone's like clowning. Oh, Juco, like you suck. Yeah. It's, it's really like it's really a good opportunity to get better. You know, you get a lot of reps, you get a lot of opportunity to grow your game. You know, um, you know a lot of people go straight from high school and it takes them a minute to, you know play and actually, you know, yeah, just play and I feel like, you know, there's other routes to uh, be successful in life. You can't just mm -hmm. think, like, you go to Juco, you think you're not like that, you know, but just keep working, keep, uh, it's a marathon, you know, it's just keep working, don't give up, and, you know, stay the course, so that's, that's, how, that's how you gotta look at it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Facts. Are you are you like the only one on your team to come from JUCO or no? Or is there other yeah, I'm the only one. Yeah. Yeah, there's 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 very few JUCO transfers around like the college scene. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Can we turn some lights on? Yeah, yeah, you turn the lights on. When are you uh, heading to the gym? Probably like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. This is my hey, Javon, come back. Come here. This, this is my guy, Imani Vision. What up, bro? He does like what up? recording and stuff like that. Oh, uh, Harry, dude, you just getting something for the. Uh, you finna be here for the game? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's hard. So I'm sorry. That's yeah, that's tough. Little son. Harry, dude, Harry, dude. Yeah. Stop. When you saw him down to the gym? Like 15. All right. I'll, 10, 15. You better go down there. I'll go, I'm going to go, yeah, Houston want to go down in like 15, so we'll go. Oh, uh, Houston's still in here? Yeah. Uh, you doing like a day in the life, or you, what are you doing, the next day? Yeah, something before, you know, the game. Yeah, for you. And then, That's tough. play the game, the app of the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we want a 30 ball for my boy Mary Thiezy, and then, you know. What's up to say? Yeah. Yeah, last two games. Yeah, this game, I have to turn up, for sure. they slacking on the rebounds. Yeah, you know, my journey was, you know, not a lot of people's, you know, it's not, it's like, it's really different. Um, I came into high school, you know, 5'7", really short, um, you know, I grew to 5'10", sophomore year, uh, didn't make varsity both years. Um, going to junior year, I think I grew to like 6'2", 6'3", still got cut from uh, the varsity team, and like, after I got cut the third time, I was really sad, you know, crying and shit. I didn't know if I wanted to play basketball or not. It was just like, my dad was just slapping me like into like reality, like, Michael, you fucking suck. Like, you need, you need to work on your game. Like, if you're, not to, if you're not gonna take basketball seriously, you should just quit and just find a job. That's what he said to me. And like, I remember that I was just crying. Like, I didn't even get out of bed for the next two days, but like, I realized I have to take this shit seriously. So like, during COVID, my dad built, built a court right beside his house. And like, every day that, in that summer, I was outside two, three times a day, just hooping. I didn't care, like, if it was too hot, you know, too cold, I was just out there hooping. And I, I feel like that, you know, part of that just made me, you know, a stronger person mentally and physically. Just, you know, don't quit, you know, keep going. And um, hard work really pays off. Yeah, that's how <laughs> 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 Oh, look at the chair. Oh, yeah, bring the chair in. Uh, I'm just gonna play some 2K. Yeah, turn on my time. You finna put a, uh, you wearing this down there? Yeah, some calm. Some calm jump. Should be a uh, Marjan low key. <laughs> that would be hard. Be Marjan? 
I'll be the Lakers. You be you be the Bucks. Be a Bucks. You be the Bucks. I'll be the Lakers. Uh, you play 2K? Nah, not really. Nah. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm in Washington. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, you be the Bucks. You won last game, so you got it. And I beating this guy's ass in 2K. Don't let him lie to you. Don't let him lie to you. Where are you from? I'm from Jersey. Oh, for real? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What year are you? I'm a, so I redshirted last year, okay. so I'm a sophomore, but technically I'm a freshman. Oh, basketball okay. last year. So, yeah. yeah. You know I got a, uh, you know who I got a sub in the game? <laughs> you know I got a sub my boy Max in the game. Yeah, Max, he, uh, Maxwell Lewis, if you know him, he went to the league this year. He played last year at Pepperdine. So. Shout out to the boy Max, man. Shout out to yeah, shout, shout out to Max. Sure. I'll put it for Marjan in too. You gotta put Marjan in. Juco yeah. products. You Juco feel product. Me? You feel me? I'm yeah. Typical day, like you know, look like. Uh, typical day, you know, work out in the morning, get some shots up, then you know. Uh, get some breakfast, go to class, then we have practice. Wait, oh shit, I'm all off it. Yeah, we go to we go to class and then this if we're not too tired, go back to the gym and get some shots up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's it's really like you know, every day just grinding type shit. I heard you were like you were leading the NCAA in rebounds. Yeah. I'm it's kind of crazy because, uh, like, Juco, I was doing the same thing, but, like, doing it at the, like, the Division One level is crazy. Yeah. Like, I didn't know I could, I didn't know. You didn't think it would translate like that? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know it yeah. could ch translate like that, I didn't, you know what I mean? It was, it was surprising, but, you know, I don't really spend too much time, you know, on that. Just, you know, want to stay humble. I was watching one of your, your like your interviews and, there was, and you were saying how you didn't play varsity until like senior year. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, this dude know. has the craziest story in college yeah. basketball. Like I'm telling you, when his story gets told, everyone's gonna be Yeah, I like I didn't play at all in high school. And you know, the only time I went on varsity was COVID year. We wanna play seven games. And like no, I was I was not ranked, no offers, not even from a JUCO, no D twos, just this one little JUCO in uh, Tacoma, Lakewood, Washington. Shout and, out to uh, Pierce, man. Yeah, shout out to Pierce, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, they took me and went on a little visit to their school with my dad. I told my dad, hey, I'm gonna make it. Like, I'm gonna make it out this place. Trust me. I just kept working and working. So, real, yeah. That's crazy. That's like that's like the story of like a lot of people still not playing like you know varsity until like later. Yeah. Most of, them, most of them quit though, you know. Yeah, a lot of people quit. You know, I mean, I, I I even thought about quitting after I didn't make varsity my junior year. But I was like, I was, I love the game a lot, so I didn't let that really. You know, hold me back. You came a long way from not playing all that That's crazy. Yeah. Man. You ready to go? Yeah, you go. He's good. You want it? Oh, he's good. You want a different sleeve? <laughs> you want a different sleeve? Oh, this yeah, is we can go right now. Lame ass scooby I just go with you. Mentally, it was like draining because you know how you have those, like each year, there's like, they put a paper on the wall and you don't see your name on the list for varsity, it's like, it just crushes you. And then like, everyone clowns you, you know, like, oh my God, you JV on junior, like, you suck, like, why you, like, why you keep playing basketball? But I didn't really get that, like, to my head. I just, you know, brush it off. But, you know, sometimes there'd be like days it was like, man, like, am I good enough? Like, I'll see, I, I'll see like, like, how can I get to the next level, you know? Like, I'm so far away, like, it's, it was kind of like, you know, demotivating sometimes, but... Turn up, my nigga. 
You're going stupid, boy. I'm trying to get to that rack. That rack? You're not shooting? No, I'm going to shoot for sure, bro. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Both of you niggas need to fall that. I'm not going to lie. Bro. Oh. We can't. Why not? That's all I'm saying, bro. Showtime, Marathizi. Oh. Showtime. Yeah, I'm finna get taped. Alright, how soon you wanna leave? Better go. Are you like the man on campus? Or like. Nah, man. For real? <laughs> I'm just, you know, really ducked off. Not, not with all that popularity. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a, I'm gonna get you a cadet, your credentials real quick. Alright, bet. I don't know if you can record in the train real quick. For real? I don't know. Should we try or not? Let me get your credentials real quick and then, yeah. Alright, bet. During that COVID year, you know, I grew, uh, I went through like a really big growth spurt. I grew like three or four inches. I, know I went to 6'2 to like 6'5, six, 6'4, six, and I made the team. Um, we only played like seven games, and you know, seven games of varsity, you, know, you, can't, you can't get any offers off of that. Um, so, you know, Pierce College, um, shout, shout out to them. They offered me my only uh, scholarship to, you know, a college, a community college. And I just went there, you know, hooped there for two years and, you know, did pretty well over there. And then, you know, got an offer from Pepperdine through, you know, Isaiah Thomas and, you know, my coaches, so. Hey, Rob. What you listening to right now? I only got no music on. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna play when I get to the gym. What do you What do you usually listen to pregame? Uh, I listen to Meek Mill, Nipsey, uh, OT7 Kwani, um, yeah, J Cole, them type of rappers. Like motivational. Yeah. Especially Nipsey, he's uh, mm -hmm. he's really motivating. No young boy. Oh, sometimes young boy. If I'm really in that mood, just to kill, yeah. Young boy is a good, good artist. Yeah, I mean, the first year, it was really like, I go into that gym, I, I knew I wanted to be great. I knew I wanted to make the next level, you know, go to, you know, the D1. But, you know, it took a lot of hard work. Uh, my coaches, my assistant coaches, Coach Hart and Coach uh, Wright, 
they like they told me like if you wanted to like really do this, you have to be in the gym, you know, every morning, you know, after practice. So that's what I did, you know. Um, it was like a lot of hard days. So it's like I didn't want to like wake up, you know, go to a workout, but I just did it because you know that's how hungry I was, you know, for the next step. Um, and so like yeah, that that uh, kind of you know started my journey, you know, in JUCO, you know, working hard. Um, but we were losing, like we were losing every game. I remember like each game, you know, we were losing by a little bit and, you know, my coach was like, you got to be a leader, you know, you got to step up, lead these guys. But like, I never was a leader before JUCO. Like in my high school, I wasn't like the guy that would just, you know, talk to my teammates, motivate them. I was always like, you know, a follower, you're just, you know, okay. But, you know, like going to the JUCO route, you know, I was stepped up to be a leader. Um, you know, get out of my comfort zone. Um, but I think it made me a better person in general, um, just being a leader. Um, but then, you know, going to my second year, uh, I didn't have no offers. Um, but, you know, but I went to a pro-am. It was the crossover, and um, I put my name out there. You know, I did pretty good out there. Jamal was like, okay, this guy is pretty special. And then I went to, like, Isaiah Thomas run. And then he, uh, he seen the potential in me, he was like, it was like, who, who's this guy? You know, like, why is he you know, on D1? Like, why is he at a JUCO right now? And I was like, ah, I don't know, man. It's just no one has, no one hasn't seen me yet. And so he got me connected with Coach Romar, um, the coach at Pepperdine University. And you know, he came out, watched me, you know, play basketball. And ever since then, it was like, it was all love. Like, I really love you know, how he coaches and you know how he treats his players. So I committed to Pepperdine my second year. But, but even before that, I was going to go D2 because I, I had a couple D2 offers and I went to Western Washington and I went there. It was a good visit. I was about to commit there. And my dad was like, uh, man, I don't know if you're going to go to D1, so you just got to take the D2 route. But um, I called my coach, Coach Hart, and he was like, what are you doing? Like, you're not going to commit to a D2. And I was like, why not? He was like, Michael, you have so much potential. Like, you're better than this. Like, like just wait on it, like just wait, just wait, just wait, you're gonna get an offer. And then, you know, I waited and I waited and I got it. So you know, I'm really I really uh I really thank Coach Hart just for like, you know, having my back and just, you know, keeping me, you know, level headed and stuff like that. So my logic. That's gonna be big. We gotta lead him and the crack. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Best shooter in the country. He's from the left. Oops, I made a mess. See, pop out a tip, pop out a cash. I doubled up, man. My money stretched from south to the west. What's up, Paul? This is my guy, Money Vision. What up, bro? What's the game day you drip like? Uh, uh, I mean, I don't really wear anything for real. Keep it just tank top, some pads, and yeah, sometimes I'll wear like a, like a leg sleeve, but not too fancy, straight to business. You know what I mean? Straight to business. I'm standing on business. This game. I'm ashy. Ha! <laughs> Oh, these are mine. Uh, we had the 
Kyrie's. The best hoop shoes, you feel like? Ooh. Blue shoes, yeah, we're in blue shoes. These are comfortable, though. I'll say the KDs feel good, or the GT Cuts. GT Cuts? Yeah. Do you guys have team shoes or no? Oh, yeah, we do. We can't wear any else. We can't any. Like, you see the Grinches there? You can't wear them. Damn. Sleep today, Mike. Huh? I'm on one life sleep today. Huh? I'm on one life sleep today. Man, where's my... Oh! Walk in, Mike. OT7 Kwani, 38 tracks. We're gonna play. True on this. Our team, our team is solid. We have a lot of guys that can really go, and we have we have a lot of talent, and we can also you know defend the ball. Um, currently, we're like, well, I think we're like seven and eight, but we had like a couple of guys injured, and now they're back. So we're gonna start conference really strong and. And I know we can turn it around. Um, it just takes a lot of people who want to win and who's willing to, you know, share the ball, you know, defend for each other and have a competitive spirit. Well, welcome into Firestone Fieldhouse on the Pepperdine campus in Malibu. Along with John Immelman, I'm Al Epstein. As the Waves get ready to take on the Tritons from UC San Diego, members from the Big West Conference in a non-league game. Well, for Pepperdine, coming off a loss against Cal State Fullerton on Wednesday night, looking to bounce back. Super guard out of Washington, number one, Michael Achai. It's a game. Tritons are a team that can shoot threes. They had 18 in their game against Occidental. And Michael Achai along the baseline able to knock down a jumper. Season a plus three. The Tritons a minus three rebounds per game. Long a jumper by Achai doesn't go. And taken by UC San Diego. This is Pope pivoting the lane to up a jumper that's long. And the rebound down by Michael Achai. The Houston Millette. Well, Cal State Fullerton's going to surprise a lot of teams in the Big West. They looked good the other night. Uh, a team that's picked actually seventh in the Big West. Uh, the Big West pick is to be very strong this year. Clock winding down along the baseline. Jumper by Ajayi is good by Michael Ajayi, who averaged a double-double, not very heavily recruited, coming out of junior college up in the Northwest. Millett in the front court. Back to Ajay, who shoots 49% from the floor. He can step outside and hit threes on top of everything else. Backing in, this is Millett. This is Curtis Williams getting into the game early. The 6'6 freshman. Ways have a lot of young players. Right side of Jai, jumper off the mark. He hadn't played in a year because of injuries. Finally getting healthy. Right side to Ajay on the baseline. It's an interesting Pepperdine lineup with Millette on the bench. A jumper by Ajay is good. There's a steal by Ajay in their midcourt. Dribbles into the front court, turns, puts up a jumper. It bounces off of the foul. Ajay dribble in the lane, step back. Off to Millette along the baseline, dribbles, gets inside, cut off there, eight on the shot clock. Ajay continues to dribble, get to the basket, pull up, shot rolls up, rebound grabbed, and taken by Brooks. Ball fumbled and lost by the Tritons, five turnovers ahead to Ajay, dribbles, but gets called for traveling. Maybe you to get a shot off. Millette being guarded by Gray. Ajay out in front with six. Ajay at the free throw line with three. Puts up the shot, rolls off the rebound grab by Shimonga in the first half. Comes to an end.
And both teams go into the locker room with UC San Diego leading Pepperdine 28 to 25 as of the first half comes to a close. Right side to Nils Cooper in the lineup for Pepperdine. And his dad, Michael Cooper, played for the Lakers. A chai short jumper. That comes up off the rim. Chamunga fumbles it, lost it to Cooper, who puts it up. That shot doesn't go. And back in. It is Camden McCormick, the 6'3 sophomore from San Diego, Ajayi down the lane all the way. And that was a called play by Lorenzo Roma. Ethan Anderson near midcourt, get a screen by Petrie, into the corner, wide open, Ajayi, and hits the three. Never got lucky there because there's an all-conference selection, where's number zero for the Waves. All right, the Waves with six and a half remaining, 11 point advantage, and then the Waves turn it over. The rebound, Ajayi, once again, the 6'7", 220 pound junior out of Kim Washington. You see Michael, pass, pass, pass to Moore, who's able to save it. The Waves can run some time off the clock, three minutes remaining, Ajayi into the lane. Turns, 12-foot jumper, that's no good, but the Waves tip it, Koulibaly once again, and it goes to Anderson, into Millet, he double-teamed. Well, when the Waves are at full strength, they are gonna be an interesting team to watch. Ajayi inside, lays it up, and it rolls out. Hard break by Ajayi. Anderson to Millet, right side to Ajayi, he'll launch a three and knock it down. And that's one of those ones as a coach where you go, no, 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 yes. Conference guard, and this will do it. 68-62, Pepperdine will get the win, and they beat UC San Diego. The Waves now 5-2 and two at home. I think I've been doing good. I think I'm averaging a double-double this year. Um, just wanted to, like, I just wanted to, like, I just wanted to put my energy to like rebounding and defending first than just scoring because anyone could just score. So I just wanted to, you know, do other things to impact, you know, the, the basketball game. So I just, you know, um, had the same passion, you know, when I came from Juco to now D1. So, man, my ultimate, my ultimate goal is the NBA, the league. I feel like, I feel like I'm ready to take that leap, you know, after this year. Um, I'm really confident in my abilities. Um, I really think I could just, I just see myself every day, you know. I'd be manifesting, you know, visual, visualizing, you know, my dream, like how I'm gonna make it to the NBA and stuff. But, you know, I still have a lot of work to do. You know, it's not gonna be easy. But I think just the NBA is the ultimate dream. It's like, you know, since, since I was a kid, I just wanted to be, you know, playing in there, you know, so. What, travel? Yeah. That was a lot of travel, bro. In the league, they're not calling it. They're not calling it, bro. They do the research. Yeah, we're finna head back to the crib. You know, slight dub. Yeah. You know, dub, that's, we really needed it. Hey, you really like that. Hey. We really like that, this man. Board best, man shooter, board best shooter in the country. He's the Malay. Yeah. Huh. Come on, man. What they give you? What you mean? Oh shit. Now you good. Like what is like what's it like what's in there? Oh, they gave me chicken sandwich, <laughs> some nuggets and some crackers. Yeah, chips. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. I'm about to kill this. Michael Ajayi, man. <laughs> you know? That guy. You feel me? Let's go. <laughs> How's it going? Take care, guys. All right, cool. See you later. Till next time. Hey, good work, baby. That's a way to chop a lot of wood. And keep going. Just gotta keep going. Thank you for everything. That's why you chop wood. And you keep chopping. Just keep chopping. <laughs> What, what, what is this? What's going on? Oh my God. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, man. What? NBA legend. What? Joe Brown. Is this what's going on? Mm -hmm. You get double figures and rebounds. You got the camera crew now. He's my guy, man. He's oh from the same city. Oh, my goodness. Kent? Kent's uh, finest? Where are you from again? Wait, what city? I get my good son. Hey, man. 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 Hey,
Alright, we'll do the woman's seat. I should call him. Yeah, I keep calling that guy coach. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they call him. They better not put no pickles in this, bro. Oh, I'm a beef. And they did. You like beef, you said? Ew, what is, that? <laughs> is that Chick-fil-A? Yeah. yeah. Is they sell burgers? Huh? Chicken sandwich. Oh, I thought it was beef. Hey. Thank you. They won? They won? The Lakers? I'm gonna meet you at the crib. Oh shit. <laughs> you mean no coat? I didn't. It's chilly. I didn't think bro. it was gonna be this cold, I'm not gonna lie. It's really cold out here, brother. I'll be good though in Washington. It's probably colder than this right now. Oh yeah. Oh, my God, it's so. Ugh. Feel woozy right now. I need to take some pills. They made the Colorado State. They did? You see what I mean, bro? Like, WCC is really like that, bro. Hey, who won the Heisman? The what? The dude from LSU. The dude from LSU? Uh, won Michael Penix should have won. Oh, it. shit. Michael Penix should have won. <coughs> Just that broke college shit. Bro. Oh, that would've been bad. Bro. That glass with your eyes. Oh. Ooh. What you think about the game, bro? <laughs> off night for him. Still had 15 and 10, so. On an off night, so I mean. That's smooth. Still got his double-double. It was an easy-ass lady, bro. End of the day, wins a win. Wait, we got the dub, bro. Oh. Max getting 500k. Wait, so you got 750k total? Hmm? You got 750k total? Yeah, that's what I said. Cause you said you want 250. No, it's just like another 250. Oh. That's crazy. You need to run a K to us. Yep, man. Are you really? Huh? Yeah, bro. I can't believe St. Mary's won. Colorado State was undefeated. Whoa, really? St. Mary's beat them? Yeah. How much? Oklahoma's 9 0. Oklahoma's? Yeah. Who they just play? Oh, uh, UW and John Dagger are playing right now. Really? Yeah. Should I bring the Apple TV out here? Yeah, bring yeah, it out here. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I believe that too, boy. That'll be a great uh, start off conference. Oh my god. I just can't wait, bro. And if we do that, bro, we come back right into the TG. I don't bro. know if we would have won that game if Booba wasn't in there. Yeah, that's not, bro. I think if Booba's good, bro. If Booba was playing, we would have beat Davis. We would have yeah, been. Yeah, we would have smacked Davis. We would have beat, uh, who else? Last game we lost to? We would have won a 10. Yeah, and we would have won a couple in a. I feel like we would have won one or two in Vegas. It would have beat UC Irvine, probably. Yeah. And Indiana State, because he would have abused their big, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, he would have fucked their big. <laughs> Ooh, we could hit middies? Yeah, bro, he got a nice little mini. Oh, nice oh you ain't know that, huh? I didn't know that. 
I tried out for you, Dub. For real? Yeah. Hey, was it messing with the kids? Nah, I was like, I was trying, I was trying out for like the walk-on spot. Okay. Like the coach, the coach fucked me, uh, real Cornroy. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, but he was like, there's politics to this shit. Like, I don't want to lie. Hey, you can't just walk. Yeah, you have to have like money or something. <laughs> What's up, buddy? I know they're sick now, boy. <laughs> what the Six oh. Hey, Vaughn. Oh my God. Vaughn, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Houston wants to know if you're going. To where? Oh. Where are you going? I can't wait for Louisville. Wait. Two, that's, that's fine. Oh I, thought, my. I thought we had like 10 dudes. We're good. That's fine. I need to work on my left. Yeah. Do it feel good? Like, huh? No, but it's your left. Do it feel good or do it feel awkward? I don't think it feels awkward. It's still like I'm not used to it. Wow, I've never heard that. I fucking. I don't know. I used you to. Be, I used to be good at going my left, but now it's just. Like, why do you act like this? Like, I, I go to my left, comes out. Like, like, and like, then I have a wide open lane, like, and then I just stop yeah, for some reason. I don't know. Oh, um, bro. Last year, bro, my left was cheap. It was way better. I don't know them boys. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Boy, I know he lit, bro. <laughs> they in there, they got the champagne like they just won the, the championship. That is crazy. They lit. It just a filthy. That's hard, bro. They got the champagne and the That's crazy. <laughs> that was funny, bro. That's crazy, bro. Go, 500k. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> 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 That boy mad. Hey, say what's up to the camera. That boy just won 500k. 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 Let's go. Board man gets paid. Oh, I'm proud of you, twin. Proud of you, twin. Go turn up tonight. I just say, you know, keep believing in yourself. You know, don't let anyone you know tell you you can't do something, because you can. Um, and just really work, you know. I feel like people just, you know, work and just think. I feel like people just, you know, work out one time a day and just think it's it's good. You know, I just you gotta have that Kobe mentality. Just go after it every day, you know. Showing showing like showing up to the workout is just the first part, but like actually just you know paying attention and like really focusing while you're working out and um, and yeah and just stay level-headed, you know, humble. Um, I feel like when you you see a lot, you see a little progress, and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna show everything off. But just just be humble, man. Just you know, let God do the work for you. You know, just believe in Him, and He'll uh, He'll like pay the pay the path for you. So. You feel me? Uh, yeah, this is the room. Uh, Kicks. Don't look at the closet. There you go. You see the kicks. Down below. What you mean, Some light. Say which one's your favorite? Uh, I'll say. I'll say the yellow fours. Fuck it up. Let's see. It's close. Hey, shout out to uh, Gold Vintage, man. <laughs> I got a lot of.
this is this is dropped. Cop that. Uh, got some spider gear. No. Um, oh, yeah. I got some heat. Got some Hellstar. I don't know why. Oh, well, you can't see it. Some Hellstar. No, I don't be trying to flex so much. Just be all bummy fits. You feel me? Yeah. You're a sweats type of guy. Yeah. You won't even catch me. You won't catch me in pants unless it's like a special occasion. Uh, I need to do laundry. Yeah, that's about it. Got the LED LED lights. Yeah. What what's in that package right there? The hell start. All right, I just got a package. So I just got um. Yeah. That's a more hell star so on the flex. But yeah, shout out to OT7 Kwani. <laughs> he wears a lot of that. Uh, yeah. You got the kitties right there? Those are Max. Oh, they just gave it to me. This guy wears a size 16. I'm not a size 16. <laughs> Those are Max? Max Yeah, Lewis? yeah. Them KDs. Yeah. I actually played against him in the summer. Well, preseason. He came out to the place on five on five. Mm. It was good bump, good runs. You know, competitive, you're going at it. <laughs> you know. I'll i I'll see him in the league for sure. But you know. That, that's the run. You play Louisville next. On the 17, that's gonna be a good game for me. That's the team. So, yeah. Who's that? Who that? Who that? You know, you know how I get day in the life. And yeah, we got the dub. Smooth 15, 10, some light. But hey, man, shout shout out to um, Imani Vision, man. Shout out to him for sure. All right. All right, bro. Catch you, bro. Yeah, for sure. Um, I just want to say, you know, love my parents, my family, my coaches. Um, I just want to, you know, thank them for believing in me and my abilities, and just, you know, keep believing in me because I'm gonna make it soon. And yeah, it's a marathon, not a sprint, you know. And I got it on me right now. The marathon continues. Shout out to Nipsey Hussle, man, RP. But yeah, he's a real big motivation in my life. So you know, just gotta you know keep you know running the laps, marathon.